Hello, welcome back. Today we're going through more world coins that have kindly been sent into my PR box. A big thank you to everyone that has kindly sent coins into my PR box, but please don't feel obliged to do so. Anyone that does send those coins in though, I put the, the world coins off to the side and I use them in these future world coin hunting videos. I'm still wearing my glove just to cover up the uh, cut that's still healing on my hand, so please do bear with that. Uh, as usual though, we're going to look at my new Mister front page. New Mister is the website I log my coin collection on. I get all the details for the annotations from there as well. I'd highly recommend it it's free to use I'm not sponsored or incentivized to send you over I just find it an incredibly useful tool um, for putting these videos together and keeping track of the coins in my collection we will return to that screenshot at the end of the video but for the time being let's look at some coins so we've got some coins from James Stodder I think I, if I'm mispronouncing your name I apologize profusely uh, this is a Turkish coin to begin with it is one uh, one lirasi Yeni Turk Lirasi, was this the, after they've devalued the currency maybe? Because it was Bin Lira at one point, I'm not there again. Turkish uh, currency is not my forte, I've had a, quite a fair few in my world coin hunts, but uh, there we go. It's from 2005, I can tell you that for sure. It's a cool bimetallic coin, <laughs> good start. And, oh this is a US state quarter, it is Pennsylvania minted in 1999. It has got a D for Denver mint mark on it. Uh, these are all fairly common coins out in the States, but I think that's a really cool concept. Uh, and I've been banging on for years that we need a UK counties coin set, much like the US state quarter set, because I think it would be a great educational tool as well as being quite cool to see the designs. Right, we're going to France now. It's an aluminium coin. It is one franc from 1946, it looks like to me. Cool stuff. And then, hmm, okay. The automation's portrait of the Queen. It's a Canadian one cent, 1965. Lovely. Got an interesting sort of rainbowish toning to it. I can't really, it looks much more fluorescently rainbowed in person, but let's just take my word on that. It's a nice coin. And then, oh, here we go, 100,000 lira from the year 2000. There we go. That is a big denomination, 100,000 lira. <laughs> I wonder what that would have been worth. Obviously, if you search what the value of 100,000 Turkish lira is nowadays, uh, you're going to come up with an extraordinarily high figure, but uh, this is before they've devalued the currency. I think devalued is the correct term. Basically knocked off a couple of noughts off of the values. Right, going back to the US of A with the 2015 Denver Mint. Uh, five cents. The five cents is a nickel. Yeah, ten cents is the dime. I don't know why I struggle to keep, retain that in my brain. But there we go. Uh, this is a French coin. 20 centimes. 1971. We've got a little owl preview mark there. Cool stuff. Okay, we've seen our fair share of those coins in the past. Uh, 2012. It looks like a five pence. That's because it is. <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> Not technically a world coin, but there we go. And oh, this is Maltese. 1991. It's a little bit green. It's a cool crab though. I do like animals on coins. I think they're really cool. It's a five cents. And again, I like what the, some of the countries and places do with the borders of their coins. It takes a sort of a dull circular coin and makes it look like a really interesting shape. So definitely a fan of that. Uh, we've got a hundred bin lira. So we've had hundred thousand lira. We've had a hundred, whatever it was, yeni lira. And this is a hundred bin lira. So again, it's a hundred thousand lira. In 2001. There we go. An education in Turkish coins is much, much needed by me, I think. <laughs> but I won't retain it, is the problem. My brain doesn't work that way. US, one dime, so 10 cents. 2002 D for Denver mint mark. Lovely. Some of those American coins have got unbelievably high mintage figures, like potentially this one here. One cent. It's that way, isn't it? They're coin orientated rather than metal. 2015 D for Denver Mint. Nice quality, though, isn't it? But I'm sure crazy vintages of that. 
Uh, there's another one. 2015 D for Denver Mint. Shield. Is it Shield Back they call that? I can't remember. The more recent designs. Lovely. Um, ooh. 1958 20 Lira? Italian? Yeah, Italian. There we go. So that's uh, had some use in circulation, you can tell. Cool. Uh, another dime, 1995 D for Denver Mint. There's a few US coins so far. Pretty nice. Oh, what's that? Cypress, 1955, five mils. Beautiful design on it, isn't it? We've got a uh, crown portrait of the Queen. I can't remember who did that design. Is it um, Cecil Thomas? Is that the right person? I can't see any initials on this to confirm or deny that. I know that uh, this, he did a, a few portraits. I think, did he do them? I can't remember. <laughs> Stop trying to guess, Christopher. He'll be giving up fake news. Stick to what you do know, which is not a lot to be fair, but there we go. Right, we're back to Turkey. 25 Yeni Kuruc. Is Yeni maybe new? New Kuruc? I don't know. 2005. Nice. Okay then. I'm sticking my elbow in the coins and just move them aside a bit. Right, another quarter from the USA. This is from 1972 and the mint mark is a D again. All Denver coins so far. See, the main ones you'll find are the D's and P's for Pence, not Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. See, I always do it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right, back to Turkey. We have got a 2005 1 Lirassi. Very serious looking gentleman on the. I guess that's the obverse of it. And then another US dime. 1982 Denver Mint. Uh, this is from Germany. One Fennig with a J mint mark to the top there. There's five different German mints. I still can't remember them, so don't <laughs> expect that of me yet. 1975s minted in. Lovely stuff. And then this coin, another US cent. 2015 Denver Mint. Nice quality of those cents, aren't they? They can't have been in circulation long. Oh, that's a much older US one cent. This is a, a wheat cent, isn't it? Uh, 1958 D for Denver Mint. Lovely. It's amazing the the, uh, the age of some of the circulating US coins. I think that's really cool to see. And oh, it's French. Slightly off colour. This is normally a silver coloured coin. 50 centimes, 1932. It's quite pretty, the coloration to it, the toning. Oh, I like that. Sometimes the toning can look really, really pretty. Um, oh, this is a park reserve state, uh, US quarter. So it's um, Blue Ridge Parkway in North Cal Carolina. Really beautiful design. Some of these uh, later quarters have got such intricate designs. D for Denver Mint Mark. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, this is from India. One rupee, 1998. I don't see a mint mark, which means it's probably from. Oh, come on, Christopher, we know this. Uh, Mumbai, I think. Is that, is that the diamond? With the diamond Calcutta. Mumbai. Final answer. The annotations will be right. <laughs> Obviously I do that when I'm editing the video and I'm researching the coins. So. That's a huge one dollar gaming token. Oh. MGM Grand as a casino token. 1999. Oh yeah. It's the face of a lion. I can see that now. Wow. King Louis. MGM Grand. One dollar gaming token. That's huge, isn't it? Wow. There we go. That's pretty super. Right, we'll do a couple more, then wrap off. Uh, back to Turkey. It is another one hundred thousand lira. Two thousand and three. Cool. 
Right, last coin then. It is Italian. It is the Tree Guardian. Obviously, not the Tree Guardian, this is what I call it. 1969, 100 lira. Wow. They've been very fun to go through, and I've still got a handful of coins um, that we will return to at some point to finish off those coins from James, so thank you very much for those. And we're going to have a look at my new Mr. Front page now to see uh, how the video has affected my collection. So there we go, a real interesting mixture of different coins, old and new, and the token as well I think is quite cool, um, the MGM Grand Casino, um, but in terms of a favourite, ooh, there's some really nice ones, I love the, uh, the design on the uh, Cypriot, what was that, the, yeah, Cypriot coin, the 100,000 is a crazy denomination, I love the toning on the Canadian coin, but again the MGM, it was uh, uh, Dean Martin performed the MGM Grand, uh, many many a times so that's got some sort of significance the state quarter is so beautiful and beautifully designed i'm not sure you're gonna have to let me know in the comments I, they're they they are my highlights there are some really stunning coins so thank you very much for those uh, so let me know in the comments what your favorite coin from today's video as ever links are in the description to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come over and join myself and others over there there's also links to my facebook instagram twitter tiktok my peer box address you can write into and of course the britannia coin company's youtube channel which you can uh, go over and check out i make um I make videos for that YouTube channel. That's my day job, so please do check it out. All it leads me to do now... How many times have I said that? And I've tripped over it just then. <laughs> All it leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.